Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2022 International Street and Ball Hockey Federation World Championships Game 1 between USA and Canada on the women's division. Appreciate you joining us here on Twitch. Uh, just so you know, there's not going to be any audio for the rink uh, due to the fact that you know, the attendees like to listen to licensed music and stuff. And unfortunately, at this point in time, we don't get to do that here on the internet. So our first period will be getting momentarily. So until then, just sit back and relax. Okay, everyone, 
Looks like we're about to get our first period underway. My name is Chris. I'll be bringing you guys the call this evening. Uh, we do not have any rink audio. You only have my audio, unfortunately, as there is licensing issues with the music that they play in the rink. I uh, just got informed that apparently number 11 on Team Canada, that's Don Talk, is out with an injury. And we're underway as USA wins it back. Canada takes possession. And defensemen back and forth in their zones. Sent up, dunked in. USA gets to it first, sends it around the boards, behind the net, up the wall it goes. And USA on the breakaway. No, and they take a little tumble, trip over each other. No call on the play. And Canada comes up with it, on up the sideboards, chips it ahead. As along the boards, drops it back to number six, takes the shot and scores. That is Melanie. 92, Jessica McCann. Looks like she got the goal on that one. Let's take a replay. Yep. Number six. That is Melanie. Who sends it ahead for Jessica McCann, who beats the goalie. Gets Canada on the board first. Score is one to zero. Great looking play from Canada to start things off. And Canada wins it back, gets it back in the corner, sends it around the net. And to pass around just a little bit ahead of uh, the defenseman there. And Canada retakes possession. Pressured by Lindsay, number 77 on USA. Canada gets it back, chips it out, out of the zone, and ahead for number four, Elijah, Alicia, and they are offsides. We'll get a stoppage and a whistle, and another faceoff. Bear with me on the names, folks. I do appreciate it. <laughs> Reading as best I can. As Canada pressures USA as they win it back. On the face up, sent up around the boards. And USA takes possession. 14 is Elena. She gets it up for Colleen Murphy and chips it ahead up the boards. Not out of the zone, though. Canada keeps it in. And now Canada set up behind the net. We got a little bit of time, pressured. around point blank attempt interrupted team usa and it finally comes out of the zone usa is probably getting some changes right now and now they get some changes after usa dumps it in sent up hard up the boards and the errant pass brings it out of the zone usa Gets it back, brings it forward, sends it in. And they got a piece of that, so no icing. Play number six, Melanie for Canada. Chips it up ahead, comes all the way down, no icing. And USA will cover. That was number nine. That's Karen. Just passes it to her goalie, who gets the glove down. Both teams get changes. We'll have a defensive zone face-off for USA. So Canada wins the face-off. Shot from the point. Not a whole lot on it. I believe that was sticked aside. It comes around the boards. And back to the defenseman. He's got it. He'll wrist one. Looking for a redirect off the boards, corralled from number 26. That's Chelsea, Chelsea K. And 
And Chelsea gets it up off the boards. Yeah, tries to stuff it. And the goalie says no. That is Brooke in net for USA. Gets your glove down, gets the whistle. We do another face off. We're underway again. Canada with possession. Drops it back. Shot from the point into the glove of Brooke. Gets that whistle. Brooke W. We're going to go with. I will spare the players my renditions of butch butchering their last names, and we'll just stick with initials for right now. <laughs> Canada's got it. Dumps it down into the corner. That's Alicia. Centers it around and then back up to the point. Sent across. Ooh, hot pass off the foot. Bounces up. She gets it back, though. Brings it in. Protects along the boards. Looking for some space. Tries to get it across. Pass just a little out of reach. That was 92. Jessica M. And sent back down. USA takes possession. Canada takes it right back. That was Alicia. And then it's sent up. Canada's getting some changes. While well, they have possession, they'll just dump it down. 88 for USA. Marissa M. Had it along the boards. Take it away. Canada takes it back. Down below the goal line. Sends it up. A little back and forth. USA pressures, takes the puck, and by puck, I mean ball, right off the stick. USA keeps it in, and Brooke W. finds it and gets the glove down, gives USA a little bit of breather. Good pressure from Canada. Pretty much. Underway again. USA does get it out. I'm not sure if that was an errant pass from Canada, though, but good pressure from Sarah H. on USA. She just pushes them off the ball. Canada still has possession, though. Gets it back out of their zone, brings it in. We got a two on one, potentially. Tries to put it in the slot, goes right through, comes out. USA clears it. And they'll get some changes. Canada retreats back into their own end. No hold. Their forwards get set up. Pass. A little bit past the mark. USA's got it. Brings it in. Number 12. That's Megan F. Number 10, Colleen Murphy. She gets wrestled off of it. Megan with it again. Brings it in. Dumps it in the corner. 12 gets a change. That's Megan. As USA is battling to keep possession of the puck. That's Sophie. Sophie and Colleen. Send it back to the point. Sophie battling on all the feet, trying to get it out. And Canada gets stood up by 33. Who's Chelsea M. And then Canada Isis. We'll bring the face off all the way back down. Canada's end. There's nine minutes and seven seconds left in the first period. Canada up one nothing. USA looking to get back on the board. Their first offensive face off in quite a while in this game. And as the pass squirts up along the boards, comes all the way down. Well, that's another icing. Let's get a good look at Elena Orlando, number 14 on Team USA. Went back and helped the refs out a little bit, retrieving the icing. Always nice. And Canada takes it behind their net, pressured, but gets it up. Can they get it out? Send it up along the boards. That's number 11. That's Hannah for USA. Keeps it in, sends it down. Canada regains possession as they battle along the boards for it. And we'll come up with a USA shot blocked. 
believe that was number nine on Canada. Maybe number two. Great block. So the USA brings it in. Number 19 takes a shot into the glove. But they do not call the whistle. They keep it playing. And that was Courtney P with that. Good look for USA. Oh, and we got a penalty against USA. Looks like Reagan Fisher. Let's take another look at it here. That looked like a trip. Let's see what the refs say. I actually believe the call was for interference. We got a power play for Canada. He's already got one on the board. Let's see what they can do with it. Right now, shots are five to one in favor of Canada. Number nine puts it right up in the slot. Shot taken. I don't think that got through. And comes up back to the point. Number nine with it. That's Genevieve B. Walks forward. Shot from the slot. Locked in front. Pops up in the air. Canada recovers behind the goal line. Try to send it across. USA intercepted but couldn't clear it out. And then it's sent over, bounces off the stick of Genevieve. Kristen sees the one up at the point, keeping it in. USA with it, they'll backhand it. Oh, Kristen keeps it again. Alicia. It's kind of two great saves. From Brooke W. Good looking attempts from uh, Canada, but even better, better stoppages. Eighty-eight. The U.S. had the ball, lost the ball. Canada with possession again. Find a little bit of space from themselves. And they're just playing keep away at the moment. 15 seconds left on the power play. Trying to wear out USA. Oh, and the pass just off the mark. Oh, and that was actually 14. Elena Orlando sent it out. USA gets some much needed changes. And power play has ended. So good penalty kill for USA. Canada takes possession back again. Sends it around the boards. Oh, but nobody over there. USA gets to it first. That's Sherry Stewart. Runs it around. Canada regains possession. Five minutes and 30 seconds left in our first period. Canada with possession. Gets it out of the zone. Passes it ahead. Number 92 makes a move. And good save from Brooke W. Canada comes up with it again. Still putting the pressure on. Keeps it in the zone. And shot does not get through. Blocked in front. Sent up. And out. Canada keeping it in. Takes a wrister. Does not get through. 33 for USA. Has it now. That's Chelsea M. And USA clears it out. Sends it down. Will that be an icing? Yes, it will. Let's take a look at the replay on the big save here. From good shot from Jessica on Canada, Jessica M. And a second attempt from Alicia Bloomberg came in and crashed the net, looking for that rebound. Great opportunity, but Brooke W. for USA says, "I don't think so." Shuts him down. Canada with it again. Shot from the point. 
and comes right out to 15. That's Edie Brenning. Point blank attempt. Good stop by the goalie again. USA clears it out again. No icing on the play. And Canada. Good move. Gets it out of the zone. Brings it back in. Drops it off. Number 15. That's Edie. Sent back up to the point. Shot from the point. Does not get through. And Brooke takes it away, reaches out with the stick, and puts it in her glove before Canada gets a second opportunity. Let's take another look. That was a good stop from Heidi N on USA. As the goalie reached, reached at her feet and Make sure Canada didn't get to take a whack at it. And a little, uh, little something, something there between number 10 on USA and 13 on Canada. It didn't last very long, though. Number 10, that's Colleen Murphy. And for Canada, that was Angela C. What we'll go with. <laughs> All right, three minutes and 54 seconds remaining in our first period. As USA tries to bring it out. Shots are 12 to 4 with Canada leading that charge. Canada regains possession along the boards. USA tried to fight them off, did not succeed. Canada now fully set up. Get it out of there and bring it into USA. Drops it back to the point, sends it across for Corey Jacobson. And USA is on a penalty kill. They got another tripping call. Hmm. I totally missed that one. We're going to see if we got a replay on that, folks. We got another power play for Canada. Well, let's see. Can Canada make something of it this time? Their last power play, they definitely put on a possession clinic. That's for sure. As USA clears the zone. They were able to get a few changes, it looks like. Or Canada sends it right back in. And USA takes it away, sends it up the boards. Will that go all the way out? No, it is held in by Kristen C for Canada. And it's sent all the way down. And that is Courtney P for USA, providing a little bit of the forecheck there. USA pokes it free. Canada's got to give chase to regain possession. Two minutes left in our period. Canada walks it forward, takes a shot, good save. And the power play is now over. And sent ahead out of the zone, it comes. Canada still has possession though. I do believe that was Melanie for Team Canada. Melanie J. Oh, USA comes in, number eight. Sends it ahead, it comes all the way down into the corner. Number eight is Sarah H. That's Canada set up behind the net. They'll lob it forward. It's just a few seconds remaining in the period. It's a nice little hit there, but Danielle for Canada, Danielle Ring, number 49, shook it off, dropped it back to the point. Shot taken from the point, goes into the corner. Two on one in the corner there. USA holding their own and thought they came up with it. But the long reach of Angela C for Canada took it away. One minute remaining in our period. My time was a little off earlier. My apologies. That's number 84. That looked like 84. 
my mistake. As Brooke W. gets the glove down, we get a stoppage. USA gets to take a little bit of a breather. Twenty nine seconds left in our period. Canada putting on all the pressure. USA doing well to keep it away from them, if only momentarily. As Alicia B pins it up against the boards. They're battling for it. And ball throws in. We get a whistle. And another face off. Canada wins it back. USA tries to poke it ahead, does not succeed. Backhand attempt from Elijah for Canada. Elijah D. And that is going to do it for our first period. This is a little bit of a tumble from Alicia Bloomberg. She goes down. We have a little bit of a break here until our second period we got uh, about nine minutes and 45 seconds to go until our second period begins so we're going to take a little break i'm going to take a little break give you guys a little break for my wonderful voice we'll see you back here momentarily
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to get our second period underway. If you were watching throughout our intermission there, showing you a bit of the replays, a little bit of highlights from uh, the first period, as you saw. A lot of great defensive plays for Team USA. A lot of great offensive opportunities for Team Canada. So let's see how each team changes up their game plan for this period. Or if they change it up at all. So it looks like we're going to be having keeping Brooke W in net for Team USA. I still unfortunately have not caught the number of the netminder for Team Canada. I am not sure who they have in net for them. One of three. It could be. We'll see if we can find out. It's Team Canada wins the faceoff back. And USA bats it out of the air. USA chases down, gets to it first along the boards. Canada blocks her off, though. 29 for Canada, Reagan Fisher. Sends it over, 57. Carly Bloomberg sends it behind the net. A candidate goalie, who is number 56. We have confirmation. That is Serena. Serena V in net for Canada. It's Canada. As along the boards, nifty, nifty pass there. Gets it up and ahead. Reagan Fisher, 29, chips it all the way down. And no icing on the play. As USA comes up with it. Shots right now are 14 to 4 for Canada. USA. Still looking for some great opportunities. They might have a little two on one starting here. Shot. I think Serena got a little piece of that. It might have just gone wide. And ooh, right out in the net. Canada gets it, tries to chip it out, kept in. That looked like number 88, Marissa M for USA. Throws it in the slot, unfortunately. No team member there to grab it. Canada takes it, sends it ahead, 14, chips it. It's Alicia Bloomberg. Comes all the way down. Canada picks it up along the boards. Pressure by USA. She says, get that stick out of my way. Pushes it aside. It's sent back down into the corner. Canada keeps possession. USA trying to push him off the ball. Does not succeed. A shot from number 55, Rebecca Ring. USA's got it. Chips it ahead. Off the stick. Brought in by number 11. That's Hannah L. She cycles it back. Caught up in everybody's feet. Oh, Canada player goes down. No call. That was uh, not a penalty. And it should not have been a penalty. So good refereeing from the referees. That's what we like to see. <laughs> Canada caught up in the feet. Oh, but still. USA could have had a good opportunity there. Still have possession. 35-19 stuffs it in front. And USA could not get the shot. But they do keep it in the zone. Along the boards. Send ahead 75. That is Sarah Rennington for USA. She is all over that ball. Comes back to the point. Shot goes wide. That might have been deflected. Tried to bank up into the crease. Didn't make it. Comes along the boards. Canada with possession. They'll take it. And drop it back. And then it's chipped ahead. Bouncing. Play out of the zone. Canada, two on one. And Alicia will take the shot. Shot saved. And Brooke gets the glove down. Let's take another look. And no pass. So smartly took the shot. But a good stop from Brooke. 11 minutes and 34 seconds left in our second period. 
Canada still up by one. USA still looking to get on the board. Canada with possession again. Dropped it back to the point. But USA being in all the right places, preventing any passing. They eventually get it. Bring it out. Send it out into the zone. Brought into the zone. Shot went a little high. Goes over along the boards. Canada regains possession. That's 13. Angela C. She'll chip it ahead. USA takes it. Sends it right back out. We got a three on one. She's all alone. Number 12 takes the shot. That is Megan F. Putting USA on the board. Let's take a look. Great read and pass from Colleen Murphy. Gets it straight to Megan, who took the shot and beat Serena in net for Canada. We got a tie game, folks. Great looking play. Not always the quantity of shots you take, but the quality. That is their only their fifth shot on goal. So percentage wise, they're looking pretty good. Just saying. And then it wins the face off, sends it around. And I do believe Colleen Murphy got the assist on that goal. And Orlando. And this is Elena Orlando with the secondary assist. Canada tried to keep it in the zone, did not succeed. USA brought it out, but they're going for changes. It got caught in the feet. Canada picks it back up, brings it back in. At possession, they'll send it back to the point. Time and space takes the shot. Oh, Brooke lost it for a minute, but good recovery. Let's take a look. On the doorstep, bounced right in front, but stick in the right place. Fast acting glove gets it covered, gets the whistle. As Canada won the face off back, but USA with the fast feet. That's number 19. That's Courtney P. Got in there and took possession, sent it down deep. Number 11, Hannah L. Lost her stick. USA does well to keep it in. Oh, shot. It was blocked from number 19, Courtney P. Everybody's swatting at it. And Serena gets the glove down. And just a good passing play. But then it starts bouncing everywhere. All the sticks, all the feet, sliding plays, sliding bodies. Oh, chip. Tried to bat it out of the air. Eventually, Serena gets the glove down. Now we got a two-on-one for Canada sent over. Oh, 22. Couldn't corral it. But he did get it back over to Edie, whose shot goes just wide. USA with it now. Tries to send it up the boards. 94. Juliana kept it in for Canada. Sends it down low. Protects. Sends it back up to the point. And that ball is bouncing everywhere. Canada regains possession. Keeps possession. Until number 33, Chelsea M. Took it away. And it rolls out. Oh, kept in. Sent back down. Oh, and number eight. Got a two on one for a moment. Backhand attempt. Good save from Serena. Nobody can corral it now. Shot goes wide again, and 
Rolls right out in front of the goalie, and we got a little bit of contact. Looked like Colleen lost her footing there right in front of the netliner. See, backhand attempt from Sophia. Very nice. All right. Canada wins the faceoff. Tied up in the corner. USA. Came up with it. Canada took it away. Brings it up. USA keeps it in. Sends it back down. Sent across. Passed just behind Colleen Murphy. Shots are now 18 to 7. Canada ahead on that. But the game is also tied. 1 to 1. As Canada brings it out, just couldn't get possession. Oh, they finally do. Takes a sharp angle shot. Good pad save. Seven minutes, just under seven minutes and 30 seconds left in our second period. Back to the point. Shot went wide. Comes around. Megan F. Knocked off the ball. As Canada regains possession. We'll play off the board. Sent across all alone. Couldn't receive the pass. And Corey Jacobson took a shot. It went wide. And they walk it in. Good save from Brooke W. Gets the glove down. Gives her team a little breather. Sealed off that post. Very good job. Great pressure from Canada, though. They keep it up. They're going to find the back of the net. You know how it goes. Ooh, this Canada's knocked off the ball. Ooh, that's number 12. Canada, she was holding her elbow there a little bit, but we'll see if we get any updates on that later. As USA has possession. Send it around behind the net. Makes a move. But then gets caught up with her teammate. A little miscommunication there. And right on the doorstep, as it went through the crease, just couldn't pull the trigger. We'll take a shot from the point. That goes wide. Comes behind the net. Canada with it. A little time, a little space. Puts it right in the slot on the doorstep. Shot. I'm not sure if that made it through or if that was a pad save. Either way, didn't find the back of the net. Looked good. Canada set up behind the net now. No walking forward. Looking for a little stuff. Looking for a backhand. I think that went wide. 77. Lindsay M for USA. Had it behind the net. And it's sent ahead. Oh, just out of reach. Canada keeps it in the zone. And sent across. All right. So USA gets it along the board. Sends it up. Canada player fell down. I'm not sure who that was. He just took a little fall. So let's see what we got here. Watch number 12 here on the hit off the draw. Oh, yeah, just shoved out of the crease. He's falling down. Uh, yeah, got up holding her elbow a bit. Hopefully she's okay. That was uh, Shay Lynn on Team Canada. Canada with possession now. Comes back to the point. Corey Jacobson has it. Sends it over to 22. That's Carroll. Back to Corey. He wrists one on net. I'm not sure if it made it through. USA's got it. Feeling the pressure. Sends it up the boards. Canada keeps it back in. Keeps it back in the corner. Set up behind the net. Number three. Canada, is that three? I think it's three. Um... Yeah, Canada with a shot at the point. And Brooke W. Slides it into her glove. So the ball, just so you guys know, the balls they're playing with are napper balls. Uh, a lot of ball hockey leagues, they'll play with Milek balls. Uh, they are playing with napper balls in this tournament, which are much harder than the Milek balls. So when you block a shot, you really block a shot. You deserve a innovation for that, that's for sure. 
because that's painful. <laughs> it's Canada set up at the point. Canada brings it in. I'm going to say he's got it. Number five. That's Melissa Clark. She's sending it around the board. Canada takes possession, but pressured all sorts on the boards by USA. Is that 27? Emma Wilson for Canada had it. Knocked off her stick, and it is chipped out all the way down. Number 19 gets to it. That's Courtney P. negating the icing. Comes around, Hannah L. Hannah Lindy. Looks it up for USA. She'll walk it up the boards, drop it back, cycle it back. Canada there to make sure it doesn't get very far. Now number 15 has it, Lisa Kilroy. She'll drop it back. Oh, sent. Well, pretty sure they were trying to get it on the slot, but it came right to the goalie. And then it's pinned up along the net. Let's take another look here. Yep. 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 Just missed its intended target. Looked like a ball took a little bit of a curve. Went right to the netminder, which you know they love, if they're prepared for it. And a shot, oh, from the, from the blue line, deflected wide. Comes down number 41, Amanda G for USA. Drops it back. Sarah H. So cycle it back. Number 915 comes up with it. Lisa Kilroy. Well, it's 75. Excuse me. That was Sarah Reddington, not 15. And it finally squirts free. Canada takes possession. Let me chip it up. Along the boards. And that was Shay Lynn who dropped it back and then is sent forward again. They'll dump it in, get some changes. It's 14. Elena Orlando. Sent it to her defensive partner, Marissa Massaro. And we'll play it around and up and out of play. It goes, nope. Nope. Looked like it went out of play. It was stayed in, kept in by Canada. Looked like it went in the bench to me. But hey, I'm not going to argue. The ball's still in play, so there we go. USA chips it all the way out, all the way down. That'll be an icing with two minutes left in our second period. Let's talk, take a look at a replay and an early opportunity here. Yeah. Yeah, and that was shot by number 20. That's Victoria B for USA. That was deflected wide. As USA brings it up, chips it out. Oh no, Canada keeps it in. And they'll dump it down. And gets to a first USA. I do believe that was Marissa M. Canada has it now on the goal line. They'll walk it up the board, sends it up to the point. Number two, that's Corey Jacobson. She'll wrist one. It comes back to her. She'll pass it up along the boards. It's sent across. Oh, pass just a little too hot to handle. Comes down below the goal line. Walked out in front. And looks like the pass just went through its intended target. But Canada still set up with their possession. And it's cycled up along the boards. USA finally gets it, brings it out. Dumps it in. They'll get some changes, which are much needed. Serena bats it behind her net. And Corey Jacobson for Canada gets to it. Sends it over to her defensive partner, who protects. And then is pinned and pushed off the ball, but tied up in the stick. I got a penalty on that one, and it's going to go against Canada. Take a look at a replay and see exactly what happened. So 94 at 
kind of. Yep, Canada. Juliana Pilata. Looks like she got a, her elbow on that stick there when she went down and kind of took it with her. I'm not sure what the official call is going to be on that, but let's find out. USA. USA on their first power play of the game. Let's see what they do with it. There's 45 seconds left in the period. USA 11 with a shot. Looked like it was a pretty, pretty good block from Serena. USA's got it along the boards. And sent up to number 11. That's Hannah Lindy. She drops it back, sent across. A clapper from the dot. Didn't make it through. And Canada putting all sorts of pressure to get that ball. They got it, but they weren't able to clear it. Comes over, wrist into the slot. Good defensive play from Melanie J. And that's going to be the end of our second period. USA will start the period with another power play. Or not another power play, excuse me. Continuing the power play. For I do believe another a little over a minute. So we got another 10 minute break, just about, well, nine minutes and 40 seconds left. And we will have our third and final period, unless it ends in a tie, of our game one of the women's division. Let's take a look at some replays. And we'll be back just shortly before the third period.
right, our third period is about to begin. As Team USA is going to start on the power play. As Canada wins it back and they'll dump it in, clear it out. As it comes back for number eight, that's Sarah Hewson. For USA, she protects it well, sends it over to 59, Heidi Niskanen. She's got it, sends it up, sends it along the boards, finds Colleen Murphy, but Canada takes it away. Just about 30 seconds left in the power play. Canada takes it away. USA recovers, takes it right back, cycles it along the boards. 21, that's Haley Frayed, sends it up to the point. And that's number nine at the point. That's Karen Levin, gives it over to Colleen Murphy. Karen with it again. A little back and forth we got, getting the setup and fanned on the shot. From the blue line, but Colleen Murphy, she's got it, walks it forward, gets it back. Oh, and Canada with a good back check coming off of the penalty. Pokes it away. They have possession now. Bring it in, stood up along the wall from Colleen Murphy as it's chipped down. But Karen Levin had it, but it was stripped. She recovers. USA sends it all the way down, and that will be an icing. Right on the doorstep. Comes out, passed over to Colleen, who then iced it. Juliana Pelota. Back out. We are at full strength. Good stop from Brooke Wojelko. Apologies for any mis mispronunciations on the last names here. Ooh. And Edie with a shot that was blocked. USA brings it out. 22 to 7, I believe, are your shots on net. Canada definitely winning in that department. The game is still tied 1 to 1. Canada runs it all the way in. 22, that was Carol Ann Upshaw. Canada keeps him in the zone, but USA gets to it, chips it along the boards, does not get it out. As USA interrupts the pass, and they'll bring it all the way out, all the way back down. I think she'll just wrist one on net. And that is caught and batted aside by the netminder, Serena Vile. Yeah. <laughs> Got a penalty, it looks like, or an offsides. Offsides, no penalty. Number 14 for USA. That is Elena Orlando. Making sure that pass did not get behind her. Good stand up. USA dumps it in, it rolls right on net, bat to the side. Canada tries to send it out. It comes along the boards. And then it's chipped ahead. It's number 14 who backhands one. That's Alicia Bloomberg. And 92, Jessica McCann. Took a little stab at it. And players having some words after that. Let's take another look. It rolls on net. Cover. Yeah. Jessica. So the assistant captain, 
Ashley Freyd was talking to the ref, trying to get that penalty, did not succeed. It's Canada. It's a shot from the line, goes wide. And that was shot from number six. That's Melanie Zhu. As they get tied up along the blue line, yellow line. Depends on if you're colorblind or not. Oh, and USA takes a shot. That was Hannah Lindy. And that was gobbled up by Serena. Let's take another look. Yeah, finds herself some nice space. Walks her forward, takes a shot. Kind of caught the edge of the blocker there and then right into the glove. As Canada takes it behind their net off the faceoff. Got a little space, we'll walk it forward. Oh, kind of lost it a little bit, but recovered, dropped it back. USA with the pressure. That's Sarah Hewson. She's got it now. Sends it along the boards for Megan Fortier. Fortier. She's got it right there. Sends it over for Colleen Murphy, who takes a wrist. And that's gobbled by Serena in the net. That's not, that is Serena, yes. But they pulled a goalie change on me. I didn't notice. They, they, they did not change the goalie. I thought they had for a moment. <laughs> USA got some changes. And Juliana for Canada dropped it behind the net. It comes up the boards, squirts past everybody. Canada throws it down. And I believe that was an, was that an icing or was that out of play? Let's take a look. That was an icing. Bring it all the way down. As USA wins the faceoff, comes back to the point, and Canada puts on all the pressure to make sure it gets out, rolls it ahead, and Edie Brenning sends it across, and we got a goal. Let's take another look. This is a good feed from Edie. I can't can't see who that came from. Let's see. And that was number 22, Carol Ann Upshaw. Gives Canada one more. Your score is now two to one. We have the initial assist from Edie Brenning. We'll see if we can get a secondary assist. So we have 10 minutes and 16 seconds left in our game. Canada dumps it back in. We will get the score updated on the scoreboard on the screen here momentarily. As USA takes possession. And it's sent up the boards. And they'll lob it out. Canada regains possession. Comes over for Elijah. Alicia. I'm going to mess up everybody's names. And sent back down. USA throws it ahead. Gets along the boards for Hannah Lindy. That was poked free. Canada comes up with it. They'll gain the zone. Regain the zone. Come out. That ball just seems to be sticking to the edge of the boards there. So for that last goal, primary assist was Edie Brenning, and your secondary assist was Genevieve Bannon. And I'm being corrected, the pronunciation is Eddie, not Edie. So my apologies there. Let's 
Gee, Canada puts on all the pressure to get it away from USA. They succeed. But USA brings it back with a good back check. And then it's kept in, if only for a moment. As possession is regained from Canada. And it's just chipped right out, all the way out. We got a breakaway. Walk it all the way in. Took a shot. Went wide. That was from Chelsea Carpenko. Good look. Shot just went a little wide as USA brings it back in. A little chip out of the air. That's Lindsay Magic. Maycheck. Excuse me. As it's down, Canada putting on the pressure. Squirts back out. And sent all the way out. Will that be an icing? It will not. Eight minutes left in our third period. USA gets it out of the zone. Canada still with possession on it. So up and off the boards. Brought back in, right in the slot. Shot from 29. That went high. That was Reagan Fisher. And then Colleen Murphy. Has it behind the net. Does well to protect it. Send it all the way up. Canada tried to keep it in, but it's poked right up and into the bench of USA. Let's take another look here. That opportunity. Yeah, shot was interrupted. Let's take a watch. Boom. Yeah, that was deflected out of play. I didn't catch the number of, of who was the dry, diver on that one. But great defensive play. We're going to find out here momentarily. It's Canada doing well to keep that possession. Carly Bloomberg or Blomberg. Came with it. I'm being told number 88, that's Marissa Massaro, came in with that great defensive play to deflect that shot. Sent it up and over the net. And USA still got it. 21 takes the shot. That goes just wide. That was Haley Fraid. And Courtney. Pensavala, shot goes just wide. They get tied up along the boards. Canada has it. It's caught up in everybody's feet. Finally comes out of the zone. USA will dump it back in. They'll get some changes. Canada with it now. Has it behind the goal line. Sends it ahead for Juliana. She'll chip it ahead. Falling down. Caught up in everybody's feet. Canada will dump it in. Oh, and just fan on the clearing attempt. Canada with it, throws it across. Bounces off the corner. Sophia does well to battle off the ball and gets it out of the zone. And Juliana sends it back ahead. Juliana Pilata, and it rolls right to Brooke Mojeko. Gets the glove. Let's take a look at what we got here. Good opportunity from Haley Fraid. USA wins the faceoff back. They got it in the corner. Pressured by Canada. Sent the head along the boards. As Megan Fortier gets it over for Colleen Murphy. Who... Gets it in the zone, but loses possession. Canada sends it right back up. But it is kept in. At the blue line, shot goes wide of the net. Sent back up to the point. That's Elena Orlando, sends it back down low. Goes behind the net. Canada took possession. But Colleen Murphy did well. A little jab at it. Canada's with it now. Sends it up the board. Stick lifted. So it'll roll all the way down. No icing, they say. So Elena Orlando for USA's got it. Sends it ahead. And that was dumped in by USA. Sorry, I couldn't catch the number on that one. But Danielle Stromier. Putting on the chase, making Canada make a move. They do. They bring it up. Passing attempt from Chelsea Carpenko. Interrupted. 
by Victoria Baghetti. And Brooke Wojcicki gets a glove down. Danielle Stromier, I believe, is from Chicago. We got four minutes and 32 seconds left in our third period. As Karen Levin sends it around the boards. It's brought up. Oh, pass just out of the reach as Canada takes possession. They'll walk it all the way back in into the corner. That's Shaylin Clark with it. And just rolled off her stick. Oh, what was that? 29, Reagan Fisher with a good looking attempt. As they're pinned along the boards, Canada keeps it just for a moment. It's batted up into the air. The USA still trying to clear it out. They finally succeed as Haley Frade puts on the Jets. But Juliana Pallotta gets to it first. And Canada retakes possession. Oh, ball just rolls off as it came out of the zone. I don't, I'm not sure if USA was supposed to tag up on that or not. They failed to do so. Either way, Canada brings it right back out. And that was Genevieve Banyan that sent it across. And Canada still with possession. Off the boards, ooh, strange bounce. So Hannah Lindy's got it now. She gains his own and then walks it back. And then they'll just roll it in. Colleen Murphy with it now as we're under three minutes left in the third period. And we got a breakaway just about. Oh, nice back check. USA, we'll see if we can get the number on who that was. USA almost had an odd man rush there, but couldn't get to it in time. So it's sent around. Two and a half minutes left. USA with it now. That was Marissa Massaro who drops it back for Karen Levin. And she's fought off the puck. And by puck, I mean ball. By Canada, they oh, got a little space. Walks it forward, takes the shot. I'm not sure if that was interrupted or just went wide. By the way, it ended up in the corner. So that is Jessica McCann for Canada. She cycles it down. Oh, and no call on that. She went down. I think she might have stepped on the stick blade. I'm not sure if that was an actual trip or not. It could have been. As it comes all the way down, no icing. One minute and 45 seconds as Daniel Stromer kind of took a face into the board there. I do believe USA is pulling their goalie. The goalie is out. We do have an empty net for USA. So six on five. As Elena Orlando pressures, Canada sends it ahead, all the way ahead. And that is an icing, as there was no touch on the pass. So USA will get an offensive faceoff. Let's take another look at the hit. Oh, yeah, that was just a shoving. Well, I'm not sure if there should have been a call on that or not. Either way, ref didn't catch it. I think they're having a little talk. Canada's going to call a timeout. Go over a little defensive plan here as USA will have a six on five. Offensive faceoff coming up. So the four we got standing here looking at the, the whiteboard over the bench, we're going to be on your line here. We got Colleen Murphy. We got Hannah Lindy. 
And then we got another one I can't make out. So that's Victoria Baghetti, number 20, and Courtney Pensavale, number 19. All right, so USA, oh, good backhand attempt from number 21, I think it was. Let's take another look. Pops out. Nope, shot from number 10. It just took a lot of bounces, and all the bodies fall down as Serena gets the glove. Haley Frayden, the faceoff for USA. One minute and 16 seconds left. Comes back, Colleen Murphy with a shot. I think that was deflected. And Shailene Clark backhands it up along the boards. USA keeps it in, but only for a minute. Shailene takes a crack at the empty net. It went wide. Karen Levin with it for USA. Over to Colleen Murphy, who sends it way ahead. And... Pass attempt, interrupted, kept in the zone from Karen Levin. Colleen Murphy with it, tried to pass. Cannon interrupts it, sends it all the way down. That will be another icing. Let's see how much time's left in this period. We got 30 seconds for USA to tie this up. And USA calls a timeout. Go over their game plan again. Shots on net are 25 to 15 in favor of Canada. So you definitely see USA get a little bit more aggressive with their shots in comparison to what the shots were at the beginning of the period. And 21, Haley Freed, Courtney Pensavale, Megan Fortier. We're going to start as we have a face-off going. 30 seconds left, comes back. And we're sharp angle shot, interrupted. By Canada, who bats it out of the zone. USA gets in, protects that empty net. Number 10, Colleen Murphy sends it ahead to the blue line. Oh, nice little move. 10 seconds left. And well to keep it in. And good battling from Corey Jacobson. Ties it up along the boards, and that's going to do it. That's the end of the game as Canada wins game number one. Great offensive attempting in that period from USA, but better defensive play from Canada on that one. They'll take it. Play, as you see, number 11, Dawn Tolk. She was out with an injury, but she is there supporting her team. You saw her in the sling. We'll get the customary sportsmanship fist bumps. And that's going to do it for this game, but don't go too far, folks. We got the men's USA and Canada games coming up. And I'm being told we're doing the MVP ceremony now. So stick around for that. Don't go anywhere. Wish we could hear it. But just so you guys know, I can't hear it either. So if that makes you feel any better. I hear what you hear, which is just me. <laughs> uh, 
And there's your sportsmanship fist bumps right there with the refs. Let's see who our MVPs are. So we got Megan Fortier, or Fortier. She is the player of the game for Team USA. She gets a bag of goodies. Don't know what those goodies are, but I'm sure they're good. Otherwise, we wouldn't call them goodies. From BioSteel. And Alicia Blomberg, I hope I'm saying that right, player of the game for Team Canada. Congrats, ladies. That was awesome. You guys played well. So that's going to do it. Thank you all for joining us for the women's game, USA and Canada. At about, in about an hour, just under an hour, we got the men's game coming up. So don't go too far. We'll be right back here with that very shortly. Uh, so make sure you tune in on, on that with us, and we'll see you then. Thank you all.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to game one of the 2022 International Street and Ball Hockey Federation World Championships men's game between USA and Canada. Before we get started, just like to thank you all for bearing with us as we have no ring sound due to music, copyright issues, and Twitch taking us off the live stream and all that good fun that we love from the streaming and copyright laws. So we do the best of what we can. So we do thank you for bearing with us on that. My name is Chris. I'll be bringing you the play-by-play -play for this fine game between these two fine teams. Uh, I will apologize in advance for any names that I mispronounce or screw up. It's bound to happen. I'm okay with it. I hope you guys are too. If not, I apologize in advance. Um, but we'll, we'll get through it together. And we'll make it happen. We are about to get underway with our opening face-off. And period one is underway as it comes back into Canada's zone. And Steve Gregory has it. And Canada clears it out. Breakaway for Canada. Walks it forward. Makes a move and scores. Canada's on the board first. I couldn't see the number. So we're going to see if we can catch that. Yeah. Red Blur. I'm not sure who scored that one. That was quick. Number 68. It's number 68 on Canada. 68 is not on my roster sheet. Maybe it was 88. Carl Lavelle. So Canada strikes first. And we're back underway. USA brings it in. Goalie steps out as we lose lights in the rink. And that's going to make for a dangerous hockey game, folks. We don't want that. So we're going to do a replay. Black light ball hockey. That could be a thing. So what we learned is goalies are not allowed to come out of their crease and send that ball around the net, according to the, the man in charge of the house lights. As Canada takes possession, taken away by USA. And pass interrupted. Canada brings it back out, chipped ahead. And, well, Canada, it looked like one of them thought they were offsides. They are not. There's a Remy. We got a delayed penalty that is no longer delayed. And that's going to be Canada for holding, I believe. Let's take a look. Yep, number 13, that's Remy Lorenzell. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, he's going to get a penalty for holding along the boards. So USA down by one, but they got a chance on the power play. See if they can come back. As USA wins it, plays it back to the point for 92, Nick Carter. And a slapper. 24, Johnny Ruiz, that was blocked. Another passing attempt to block. Canada clears it out, sends it all the way down. And Johnny Ruiz goes and gets it. He'll bring it up, pass it ahead. USA's got it, throws it in. Did not, did they gain the zone? Well, I guess they gained the zone. Didn't look like they did to me, but that's okay. So Johnny Ruiz with it. Sends it over to 82, who's also not on my roster sheet. 24, Johnny Ruiz. And Johnny Ruiz with a shot from the point. Ties it up. Let's take a look. And a slapper. Power play goal. Johnny Ruiz. We got a new hockey game just a couple minutes in. So one to one, USA and Canada. Let's see if we can get some updated rosters for our next periods here, as I got some names that are not on it. So bear with us on that, folks. Do appreciate it. There's a pass attempt blocked by Canada. 
who went offside, and we had a quick wrister from Carl. And Canada wins the faceoff. Maybe not. Maybe USA won it, and that was an ice. Okay. So bring the face off all the way back down. So on that last goal from USA, that was assisted by Andrew Carter. Or Nick Carter, excuse me. Not Andrew. Andrew's in goal. Well, he's not in goal in this game yet. But Andrew's a goalie. The goalies can't get assists, if you don't know. It's just not as common as you think. Canada with a shot. Slapper goes just wide, tried to bank it off the back leg of the goaltender. Did not succeed. And USA tried to backhand it out. That was kept in. Canada doing well to get to the loose balls and protect them. And number eight, Mark... We're going to Moscow, and we got a U.S. player down who might have an injury. I'm being told he got hit by 88. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Big, big hit. He is down, not feeling well. So I'm being told it's a double cross check to the back of his head, and it looks like he fell pretty interesting and might have tweaked a knee. So that's number 15. Unfortunately, I don't know who that is, as he is also not on my roster. My apologies, folks. He's getting helped off the rink. Hopefully he's okay. He's favoring. Okay, 2-5, not 15. That's Joe Melillo. Hopefully he's all right. We're back underway again. As USA pokes it away from Canada, but then the stick lifted. USA comes back up with it. That's Mike Malloy with it, brings it in, rolls off his stick, goes behind the net. Canada recovers. That's Mark andre Trudeau. He sends it ahead. And they go offside. Unfortunately, Yannick Levante had a, would have had a good look there if he could have corralled it and they weren't offside. And uh, won the face off, but it rolled right off his stick into the wall. USA is back to get it. I think that was number eight, Mark Berga Moscow. Moscow. Uh, pass goes way up high, but that is no icing, they say. Canada sets up behind the net, picked off the pass, took a wrister. Ooh, that was Corey Wilson. Let's take a look. We have some words in the net. Rister rolled right out in the crease, and the goalie gets the cover. 97, Mike Malloy having words with one of the Canadian players. Not sure which one. As I couldn't see the number, but that's okay. Because the game will go on and we'll forget all about it. As USA wins it over, it rolls back. Shot deflected up high, goes into the corner. USA with it, turns and shoots. That's also wide. And 72 with it, that's Corey Wilson. Tries to send it up to the point, but that was picked off. Canada with it now. And not sure what happened there. Canada bring it back. Ruiz for USA. Lost his stick. He got a change. 
Canada still with possession. And comes out. Oh, and they tripped on the stick. Blue stick. Referee's going to get that one off the rink, I hope. Canada's still with it. Protects it along the boards. Tries to center. Goes right to the feet of USA. As Denny Schlegel. Got it. He dumped it in. USA gets some changes. Comes out. 94. Samuel. Samuel. I'm going to butcher that last name. My apologies. The play's going on, so we'll just move forward, folks. Uh, as Canada has it along the boards. They walk it up, get it out of the zone, bring it into USA. USA takes it right away from them. Nice defensive play as Mark Ber Berga Moscow passes it up the boards. And a shot from the red line. And Adrian Gajor with it. For a moment, USA has it. And that is Ricky Anison took a shot, just went wide. And ball popped up. It looked like everybody lost sight of it for a second. They finally realized where it is. Cannon on a two-on-one, but a good back-checking play prevents Carl Laville from getting the shot off. He absorbed one in the, in the boards. 43 for USA. Brendan Perschietti. Brought it in. It gets taken away, but USA recovers to right in the center. All right, so we have an injured player. All right. No icing on this play as it's cleared out. My mistakes on the injured player, folks. That was in reference to the one who was injured earlier. He's walking it off on the sidelines as Canada brings it in, poked off his stick, and we have an offside. And here's the last shot from Canada. Hold on net. Robbie Snyder just couldn't get his glove down on it. Good looking attempt, but great defensive play from USA. We have eight minutes, 36 seconds left in our first period as Canada brings it into the zone. Bill Marshall and passing attempt interrupted, but that ball is bouncing all over the place. USA does well to recover, bring it into the zone. Takes a wrister, goes wide into the corner. Nice little chip from Dennis Hickey. And that keeps it in. Canada recovers behind the net. What's he going to do with it? He'll pass it up the boards. Comes out of the zone as it hopped the stick. And a little backhand attempt. I think it hit the side of the net or it was in and off the glove. Robbie Snyder. It's Canada protects it in the corner. Oh, and sent straight over. That went off the stick of Connor Donahue for Canada. Took a slapper, just went wide. And that's Danik Martell with it. And USA interrupts the pass. That's Mike Malloy, I believe, that got a hold of it and dumps it in, goes for a change. I do believe the whole line is changing on that. Got a full line change for USA. Looks like we got a forward change for Canada. They bring it in. Tried to gain the zone, lost it. USA with the possession now. And that's tipped in. It'll go deep. And just out of the reach. Canada came up with it, but a nice little pinch. From USA keeps it in. And Carl Gilarducci and Johnny Ruiz having a little words. Let's take a look at what started it. Comes out, little slap. It goes high. Goalie comes out. 
Missed the glove down, and it looks like Ruiz might have taken a little chop at the hands there. And Villarducci did not appreciate that. Having some words. Ooh, we got a breakaway. Number eight walks it in. Oh, and just loses the handle right on the doorstep. That was Trevor Mainman. As Sam Samuel Provincial Provincial. Sorry, <laughs> he had it for a moment. And that stick to side by Robbie Snyder, keeping it out of harm's way, goes into the corner. Canada picks it up, cycles it back. Was off the side of the net. Goalie tried to grab it, could not do so. USA sends it up, clears it out, gains the zone. We got a two on zero, right on the doorstep, and that just bounces in. That's number seventy one, Jordan Albright. Let's see how it happened, folks. Nice feed. It looks like he just got the heel, and it either went over the pad or the glove. And that puts USA in the lead two to one. Great looking goal by Albright. We have five minutes and 50 seconds left in our first period. Canada down by one. Looking to get one back. 88, Brandon Garneau picked it off the blue line. Canada brings it back in. Tries to center. USA read it well. Chips it ahead up the boards. Looks like it. We got a penalty. 43, Brendan Berchietti. Berchietti? Perichetti. I think that might have been a high stick against Crocker. Ooh, yeah, right up in the face. Yeah, that was Jordan Crocker. Draws a draws the call. So five minutes and twenty-four seconds left to go. Canada on their first power play of the game, I believe. And we'll see if they can replicate what USA did on their power play. Tie this game up. As USA, I'm not sure if they cleared it out, if that was just an errant pass. Either way, it came out. Canada's got to tag up. They do. Haven't gained the zone yet. Oh, I guess they have. They gained the zone, so get it over. Canada's got it. That's Danik Martell. Tips a wrister, and that is gobbled up by Robbie Snyder. Read well by Robbie Snyder. We have Jordan Albright in the face off for USA. And I think Carl Lavelle for Team Canada. Hard to see the number. My apologies. Canada wins it back. And watch it forward. Good block in front by USA. As Snyder dives out and gets the glove down. And that was off Carl Lavelle's stick. Let's take a replay. Nice backhander pass. And the play read well by the goalie. He just came out. Got the glove down, gets another face off. Eating that clock away. Canada with it now. Back at the point. Looking to get set up. Man in front, open. Nice block by Snyder, who slams the glove down, gets another whistle. USA is definitely letting Canada take the shots. Unfortunately, Canada hasn't really had any good quality shots on this power play. But like they say, miss 100% of the shots you don't take, so may as well take as many as you can. 
walk it forward, holds it, sends it across. That goes through everybody, bounces off the corner, regain possession, back up to the point. Back over, takes the shot, and we got a goal. Canada ties it up. Scored by Jean-Philippe McQuinn. Hope I said that name right, too. Apologies if I don't. Great shot. From John. We got a tie game, folks, with four minutes and 15 seconds left in our first period. This is how the game's starting out. We know it's going to end fantastically. As USA backhands it down. Goes off the stick of Denny Schlegel. Schlegel. And Jeremy Pardee has a behind the net. Oh, and it comes off a stick. And Canada will get the glove down. That's Josh Anderson in net for Canada. He gets the whistle. As USA wins the face off to the point. Gets himself a little space, walks it forward, takes a backhand. That was deflected over into the corner. And to set up the boards. And Canada with possession. I'll bring it out. Runs, rolls off the stick as Steve Gregory comes out, takes it away, sends it up. That goes through his uh, teammates. He finds the opposing team on the opposite side. USA doing well to keep it out of the zone, out of their zone. Canada doing very good on the recovery. And they dump it back in. That was deflected in, so no icing. As Brendan Perchetti had it, tried to send it up the boards. Canada does not let him. They do well to protect it. Pass it up to the point. 94, Samuel. Samuel. That shot was blocked by Albright. Comes around. Chipped ahead. Goes through the feet and finds a wide open Canadian. Right there in the neutral zone. As Nick Carter gets it ahead for Jordan Albright. And they send it across. And that's dumped back in. Goes around. As Eddie Urban takes it behind the net. Dump it back in the corner. Canada picks it up as Ricky Anison pressures. Canada holds it. Drops it behind the net. And looking for the outlet, but an errant pass bounces off the wall. They struggle to recover. They lose it. And Mike Malloy took a shot. It just went wide. Good job, USA, for the pressure and taking it back to get a quality shot off, or at least a scoring chance anyway. As Canada sends it back up. Protect it along the boards. Drop it back down. And Trevor Mainman takes it. Protects it along the boards after running around the net. He'll send it up to the point. Rister. That is blocked. Friendly fire on that one. And Canada makes a good move. Dipsy doodle is what we call that in the old timey folk, old timey ways. And we got a little scramble in front of the net for just a moment. It's poked free. Comes all the way out of the zone. Canada's got to touch up. We're gonna get a line change for Canada. And straight away. And Jean Philippe. Took a shot, a little contact with the goaltender, unintentional, I'm sure. As Danny Cunningham grabs a hold of it and gets it out for USA. It's sent across. Ooh, a little bit of contact in the neutral zone. But USA keeps possession, brings it in. That's Danny Cunningham. Cunningham, 25 with a shot, takes a shot. That is blocked. The shot was from Joe Malilo. Canada brings it in, dumps it 
Gives chase, picks it up in the corner, sends it up the boards. We got a wide open 88. Carl Lavelle took a wrister, went wide. They scramble. USA comes up with it, sends it up. Canada keeps it along the boards. And that is going to do it for our first period, folks. Woo wee! So we're going to take a look at a last save there, a little headbutt. Pops it up into the air, and there's a little contact as you see Snyder take a tumble. So, we got uh, just under about nine minutes of a break now. Uh, score is two to two. We'll start it off in our second period. Game's just getting started, folks. It's going to be exciting. Don't go anywhere. We're going to take a little break and be right back.
And our second period is underway. As Canada comes up with it off the faceoff. As they feed it through to Lee Juvenville. Juvenville. That's poked, poked off the stick. USA comes up with it. Looks like 28. That's Denny Schlegel. And he's got it. 72 with it now. Corey Wilson. He takes it behind the net. Sends it ahead. 28 with a shot. Blocked in front by Canada. Point blank block. And long pass comes all the way down. Canada back to get it. Crocker with it now. He sends it ahead for Bill Marshall. He dumps it in. Goes behind the net. USA picks it up. Sends it up along the boards. Time and space runs it out. The number 90, Adrian Gajor. Gajor. USA takes the shot. That's blocked out. And Canada dumps it out. Number eight. Could have had a breakaway ball a little bit too fast for him. As Robbie Snyder gets the glove down. We get a whistle. And another faceoff. And uh, 39, I'm told, is in goal for Canada. They are not on my roster sheet, though. So we'll find out who that is. I'm being told it's Butler is in net for Canada. He's not on my roster sheet at all. So his first name is unknown to those of us not in the know. We'll pay attention as Canada, USA battle for it in the corner. Canada comes up with it. Making all the fancy moves. It's pinned along the boards. Canada pokes it out, pokes it free, takes a shot right in front. Number 17, Jeremy Pardee. Artis Albright has it now, brings it in, takes a tumble over a Canadian player. As he's hobbling off the rink, gets a change. USA has got it as Canada gets some changes too. I'll hold it behind the net. There's a stick laying on the ground behind him there. And <laughs> Matt Caron. Caron had it. And we got an icing. Against USA, so we'll bring the face off all the way back down. And Butler. Heads over to the ref. We'll have a neutral face off. So I guess it was not an icing. Maybe, maybe an errant icing call. I'm not sure. So USA wins it back, but not far enough. Canada takes it, comes up with it. That's 88. Carl Lavelle. Or LeBay. LeBay, excuse me. Pronunciations are coming, folks. We'll get them right. By this by the time this game's over, I'll be a master. And we got no icing on the play as USA dumps it in. And Carl Gillarducci got it behind the net, sends it up. And LeBay. Has it, makes a move, sends it ahead, but USA comes up with it. And they'll uh, retreat, get some space, time to get set up, maybe get a couple changes for their forwards. We'll take it behind the net. I do believe that was 28. Long pass cut short. And we got a call on the play. As Nelson Vargas Diaz was taken down. Let's take another look. And we got a holding call right there going against Brendan Perchetti. 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 Sorry, Brendan. I know I messed that one up. No offense. Makes you feel any better. My last name's messed up too. <laughs> We got a shot, does not find its way through for Canada, but Canada set up on the power play. Their second of the game. And a clapper from the hash marks doesn't find its way through. And oh, took a second. We got a goal as he faked the shot. And that's Crocker. So let's check out some replays. We got two of them. Set up, fakes it, and then takes it. 
and it just rolls all the way in. Look at it from another angle. That's Jordan Crocker. He gives Canada one more. So score is now three to two. Canada leading. We'll find out who the assists were on that. I'll feed them to you as I get them. As 96, Jonathan Tangway walks it in. Took a shot, and that is gobbled by Robbie Snyder. We'll do another faceoff. Nelson Vargas Diaz face off for Canada as it comes down into the corner Canada and USA battle over it as Joe Malilo squirts out oh rolls right into the crease and Robbie Snyder gets the gloves down holds it off and that was Nelson backhand attempt and right on the doorstep we had some words for a minute and 96, Jonathan Tangway being ushered out by his teammate. So the conversation did not continue. As USA wins it back as a Vinny to Manello. Tried to send it around. It comes against the side of the net. Robbie Snyder gets the whistle. And the ref picks up the trash. USA looks like they got a full line change. Shots on goal are 23 to 7, Canada. It looks like we had a false draw or maybe an encroachment on the faceoff. Shot off the faceoff goes wide, chipped up and out of the zone. USA brings it in, loses it. Canada with it now, brings it back. Gains the zone, backs up, takes a little space. Sends it ahead, not by much. And it's lobbed all the way down, batted out of the air. And they all scramble for it. Canada comes up with it, keeps it in the zone, walks it back in, takes a wrist from a sharp angle. And that was Connor Donahay. Takes another shot, goes wide. USA with it. Cam Nicole. Justin Miolino has it. He'll walk it up. Finds all the space. Loses the handle, though. But thankfully, he had a teammate there to take it. As he tripped over a stick, no call in the play. And we got a breakaway for USA. Number 28 takes the shot. Good look attempt from Denny Schlegel. Now it's coming back. It's 13, drops it back for 88. Nope, not 88. Canada with a shot that went wide. It's over in the corner. Canada protecting. Even the, the ball against is that Remy Lorenzell, I believe. USA comes up with it, gets a little bit of time, a little bit of space. Canada goes for changes. And USA lobs it up off the netting. And it bounces down. No icing. Did not go far enough. Canada retakes possession, though. They'll send it ahead. Gets caught up in the feet of Jean-Philippe. And Albright brings it in, takes a shot. I do believe that went wide. Butler might have got a piece of it. USA still with possession, sharp angle shot, did not get through. Set it behind the net, walks it forward, finds the space, lobs it, goes up and over and into the corner. And Canada, they protect it, bring it out. We got a hat in the way. It ain't hat trick time yet, folks, as far as I know. Point blank shot attempt from USA. We got maybe another high stick and we got a player down. 
As Canada clears it out, he's holding his face. Maybe it came down on the top of the nose. Let's see what happened. Watch the bottom left of your screen, folks, right over the top of the hat. Oh, no. Yeah. Looks like shoulder right into the head. He's, get, he's getting checked out. Get confirmation on who that is. Is that number four? That looks like Jean Philippe. So let's see. We're going to take a look at the almost breakaway. He walks it in, takes the shot, and a good stop by Butler. Sends it over into the boards. And another one fans on the shot. As Jean Philippe is up and walking it off. He's going to head back to the bench. That is Mo Quinn. Or Mo Juan. <laughs> my apologies again if I'm mispronouncing the names. Well, my apologies for mispronouncing the names. I know I'm mispronouncing them. So I apologize. And as Canada wins it back. They go get it along the boards. Pushed off the ball by USA. But they come up with it. Set up behind the net. And that's 44, Carl Giladucci. Sent all the way down. Oh, Canada gets it. Oh, loses it in his own feet. A nice back check for John Dutney, number 16 on USA. And Canada dumps it down low. We'll take it behind the net. And we got another call on the play. And that's going to go against Canada, number 23, Yannick Labonte. Let's see if uh, we can pick it up on the replay, just what happened. Maybe an elbow. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Big elbow to the face. So he's all right. He's walking it off. Probably going to go get some smelling salts. Clear up them nasal passages. And Canada is going to take a seat, and USA is going to go back on the power play. And they'll see if they can tie it up. We'll see how much is left in the period as soon as we can. As Dennis Hickey for USA, as we have seven minutes and 45 seconds left in the period. Canada gains possession shorthanded, and that is Lee Jubinville. Or Eubenville, USA comes in, takes him off. Denny Schlegel has it. We walk it up as he gets some space. He'll leave it there for Jordan Albright. Danny Schlegel's from Buffalo, if you didn't know, which I didn't, so that's good to know. 28 with it now, Danny Schlegel. A little back and forth, gets it up to the point, walk it forward. And we got a goal from the blue line. And we're going to take some replays here and get some names. Let's find out. What a slapper. 24, Johnny Ruiz. Take another angle. So Johnny Ruiz from New Jersey. Clapper from the neutral zone beats the goaltender. He might have been screened. And just like that, that's USA's second power play goal of the game. We got a new hockey game at just, just about the halfway mark. Three to three. Seven minutes and six seconds remaining in our second period. As Justin Miolino wins it back for Canada. USA gets possession, has it along the boards, protects it in the corner, cycles it back, but nobody there. Can oh, Canada forced off the ball by Brendan. I do believe Brendan Parachetti. On that last goal, we had assists from Gregory and Carter. USA walks it in, walks into the crease, point blank backhander. Caught by the goalie. You glove it down and get a whistle. It's 
Steve Gregory and Nick Carter with the assists on USA's previous goal. Canada has it now in the neutral zone. Dump it ahead, bring it in, gains the offensive zone. And go off sides. We'll bring it right back out. We'll do another face off. Canada wins it back. It's all the way back. Carl chips it ahead. Sends it all the way down. USA with it, though. They'll lob it up. Chip it ahead. Gain the zone. Roll it down into the corner. Give chase. Pick it up. That's 16. John Dutney. Nice little pass to Corey Wilson. He's got it, and he's just taking down, helmet off, everything, no call. And Canada comes back up with the ball. They'll dump it in, give chase, get to it. Johnny Ruiz back there trying to take it away. It's sent back up to the point, shot from the point, goes just wide, ends up behind the net. Everybody's down again. We lost another helmet. Everybody's taking cracks at it. And John Ruiz looks like he just took a knee to the side of the head as he was trying to get up off the ground. And Canada with a shot goes wide. And we got a call on the play. All right, is that going to be a penalty? It's going to be an equipment. We're going to get clarification on this. Gonna go talk to some off ice officials and come up with a decision. But you're not allowed to play without your helmet, as far as I'm aware. So it does look like Canada is on the power play. Because I do not see a fifth member for USA out on the rank. They clear it down. Butler sends it back ahead for Canada. We're going to get the official call for you guys here momentarily. Bear with us. Canada just trying to gain the zone. Start this uh, power play off right. And they do gain the zone. Uh, but we get a stoppage. And the official call on the play is playing without your helmet. An equipment violation. Granted, his helmet was knocked off his head, but he still got up and continued to play. I guess you're supposed to put it back on your head before you do so. Makes sense. So I do believe this is Canada's third power play. We got Crocker with the ball on the forward, directing traffic. He's just going to walk it in. Pass it off. He'll hold it up at the blue line. And sent across. And we got a shot from um, Brandon. No, sorry. Wrong team. Carl Levehe. Well, let's watch this replay. Good slapper from the top of the hash marks. Nice feed. He just shoots it. And he beats Snyder. And that's one more for Canada. He scores now 4 2 3. And Levaye, I'm being told by Mr. Joey Delgado that he is a menace, huge and powerful, with heavy, heavy skill. I don't doubt him. You should not. As he just showed you with that last goal. Canada chips it ahead. They'll bring it out of their end. Walk it forward. Make a move. Bring it in. Drop it off. Send it across. 
Mark Andre's got it and poked off his stick. It rolls back with three minutes and 45 seconds left in our second period. It's chipped ahead. Oh, and a little tangle up between a Canadian and United States player. As USA comes up with it, come back, drop it in. They'll dump it in. It rolls right on net. Then batted right back out, kept in. And we got a shot from Jordan Albright. And just like that, tied it back up. Let's check out the replays. As the slapper beats the tender. Looks like it went between the pad and the glove. Let's see if we can get a better angle. Takes a shot. Three minutes and 16 seconds. Tie game again. Hooey. All right, so USA wins the faceoff. Bring it down. They'll dump it in. Goes wide of the net into the corner. Canada picks it up, chips it up along the boards. Regains and holds possession. Protects. And they'll just lob it out. It rolls all the way down. USA will pick it up. I believe that's Matt Caron or Caron. So we have an assist from Steve Gregory on that last goal from USA. As Canada tried to backhand it into the crease, it did not get there. And it's sent all the way back. Nice forecheck from Dennis Hickey and Canada Isis. So we'll bring it back. Take a look at the shot on net from Canada. Boom, just rolls right there in front, looking for the redirect. Did not succeed. Two minutes and 27 seconds left in our period. USA with a shot right off the faceoff, went wide. As Steve Cyan sends it around the net. He's got it in the corner. Sends it over to Dennis Hickey. Dennis Hickey does well to protect it. Oh, and it just loses his footing. Rolled off the ball. Comes out Canada with possession now. Nice takeaway. Crocker with it. Sends it over to Marshall. Marshall sends it ahead. And it's gained in the zone. Walked forward, took a shot, and we have a penalty. Looks like with a sloshing penalty on USA. Let's see if we can catch it. And right there, just gets the stick up into the hands. So USA going on the penalty kill again. Canada with another power play. And he broke his stick, folks. That is all bright. Drew Albright. So, Canada looking to convert again on their power play. And LeBay has it. And gets it over to Jordan Crocker. And that penalty was against Albright. And the slapper from the blue line absorbed by Robbie Snyder. Let's see what happened here. Ball's right through the crease. And the clearing attempt just hit a Canadian player right in the face. No call on that. Who I couldn't see who that was, unfortunately. Hope he's all right. All right. As LeVay has it. This is a game. His partner behind the net. He's got it again along the boards. Sends it up to the point. Over across from the hash mark. Shot. Did not get through. 
And the pass did not get through. Clearing attempt succeeded by USA. They'll get some changes. 115 left in the penalty. USA preventing Canada from gaining the zone. Crocker's got it now for Canada. He'll walk it forward. He'll dump it in. And wow, what a beautiful play. Feathered in. And then I do believe that beat him five hole. It's, I couldn't see who the player was. That number eight. Right in the back door. I think that was Trevor Mainman. That's my eyes are lying. Yep, there it was. No five hole. Just took a deke, faked him out. Right behind the foot. Canada converts on a power play yet again. Score is now four to five. As USA comes up with it. And Jordan Albright with a shot right off the faceoff. USA's got it. They lost it. Canada has it now. Three on two, but a good uh, put on the Jets. And we got another goal. Just like that, folks. Let's see what happened there. There was a lot going on. My apologies. Let's find out. Fed to the hash mark shot. That is blocked. Looks like it came right up behind him. And Canada gets another goal. Who is that? We'll find out. We'll, we'll get that for you, folks. Sorry about that. Could not read the number. We'll find out. So there are 27 seconds left in our second period. Canada is up by two. Eighty-six for Canada is not on my roster sheet. But I'm being told that's who scored the goal. So congrats. To number 86 on Canada. I wish I knew your name. I'm sorry that I don't. As Robbie Snyder dives out, gets the cover with 14 seconds left in our second period. So we're having conversation with the ref saying you can't change too late. Not an icing, just waited too long. So come back out on the rink. The shots on goal are 35 to 12 in Canada. That sounds about right based on the scoreboard. Less than 10 seconds left in our first period. USA bringing it up, time for one final push. Pass does not find its mark, it's logged back out. Canada with possession, will they get another? Fed to them. 23, Steve Gregory makes sure it doesn't get through. And that is the end of our second period, folks. What a game. Four to six, Canada. So don't go anywhere. We got a, just under a 10 minute break and then our third period will be coming up. You know, it's gonna be fun and exciting. USA looking to climb back up. Can they do it? We'll find out.
And our third period has begun as Canada comes up with possession. Canada dumps it in. USA back to get it. Gets it along the boards. Sends it up the boards, excuse me. Ships it ahead. Let's see who that is. 24 dropped back. Johnny Ruiz. Nice little rebound for USA there. We got a penalty call. Will that be a tripping? Looks like it. Let's take a look. Top left of your screen. Drew Albright draws the call against Jean-Philippe Moquin. And he sends him down into the boards, onto the floor. So USA with another power play. This is a game of power plays, folks. I've lost count on how many goals were actually scored on power plays, but I know it was more than two. So statistically, USA is looking good for a power play goal here. Statistically in this game, anyway. And they send it up to the point. Plenty of space. And that is Nick Carter with it. He sends it down low, comes around the net. Canada gets it, tries to clear it out. Clear an attempt not allowed. And they battle for it. And it comes up. USA does well to keep it in. Does very well to keep it in. And Dennis Hickey with it now. Walks it up, takes a slapper. That finds its way to the doorstep. But not allowed past by Butler, who I believe is still in net for Canada. Another slap attempt for USA. They protect along the boards. Sent over. Danny Schlegel with it. Gives it back to Johnny Ruiz. He'll set it across. Little time and space. Puts it right in the slot for Dennis Hickey. Good save, and Canada clears it out. One minute left in the power play. Dennis Hickey has it now. Sends it up the boards. And Dennis with it behind the goal line in the corner. We got Ruiz and takes the shot. Does not get through. That was blocked. Albright with it now. Back to Ruiz. Sends it back to Albright. Back to Ruiz. Ruiz with a wrister. Looking for a rebound or a redirect on the doorstep. Walk it in. Sets up at the dot. Takes a shot. And Butler gave it a cover as Hickey was running in. Let's take a look. They held him back. And Hickey just decides to take the shot. Not a bad idea. And as he runs in, no whistle yet. They cut him off. To 15 seconds left on the power play. USA wins it. Back to the point. Shot. Saved. That was shot by Adrian Gajor. Good save by Butler. Wide open. Good attempt. Not the result he wanted. Just a few seconds left in the power play. And now they are even as Mike Malloy takes a wrister. That was into the glove of Butler. Both teams are going to get some changes. Looks like USA decided to go full line. Canada looks like they just did their defenseman. Canada wins the faceoff. Walk it back. Send it ahead. And gain the zone. Drop it back. Was that number 11? Justin Miolino with a good wrister. Good save by Robbie Snyder. And net for USA. USA with it now. They'll wrist it at the net. Comes right on the doorstep. Couldn't get the shot off. Sticks were lifted. Feet were kicking. All didn't find it. 
Remy Lorenzell sends it up. It's at the point now. Comes back for Justin uh, Milano, I believe. Mialino. Iolino. I do apologize for the mispronunciation, folks. As Samuel Rovenko has it. Rovenzel. Vinny Tuminello for USA. Getting his stick in all the right places. And Joe Malilo. As Gregory sets up behind the net for USA. Steve Gregory. Number 23. Sends it over to Nick Carter. Got a little bit of time, a little bit of space. And it's chipped ahead. Oh, and just out of the reach of Ricky Anison, I believe, for USA. And USA doing well. They're protected along the boards. They send it over. just kind of goes through everybody. Still kept in, if only momentarily, as Canada comes up with it, makes a move, gets around. We got a three-on-one. Good defensive stick by Nick Carter. And Canada with a backhand attempt. Good stop. Not sure if it made its way through or if Snyder. 18, blocked the shot. Matt Caron, or Caron, as Andrew Carter's got it now. Not Andrew Carter. Nick Carter, excuse me. Andrew Carter is a goalie. Johnny Ruiz puts on the Jets, dumps it in. And it's Greg Morrow. Pressures it. Connor Donna, he dumps it in. USA with it. That's John Dutney. He'll drop it back for Drew Albright. He'll walk it forward. Pass a little hot, goes all the way up, but finds the point man who brings it in the zone. 16 with a shot. John Dutney. Butler gobbles it up, gets a whistle. Let's take a look at the defensive play for USA. Pass interrupted by Nick Carter. Good stick check. Back check. Your shots on goal are 37 to 21 Canada. So much like our women's game of earlier, USA behind in the shots, but definitely catching back up in the third period. As they chip it in, keep it in. 97 walking forward, takes the shot, goes wide. That might have been deflected. That was Mike Malloy. As Ricky Anderson has it now. Oh, and a nice little. A wraparound attempt finds the bottom of the pads for Butler. And we get a whistle. Let's take another look. He walks it around. Long reach. Just sends it in. The goalie was prepared down in the butterfly. Making sure that doesn't find its way through. Sneak a little five hole. As we're play is underway again. Oh, and another just little, little slap at it. Find his way to the net. Butler prepared. Just takes a little crack. And they don't got time for replays and the referees. And we got a goal from USA again. A lot of chaos in front of the net. I do believe that was Steve Sion. If I'm saying that correctly. It was there on the doorstep. Oh, Might have been. Oh, there it is. You can see it. Rolling off the stick, and he just whips it around. I do believe that was Cyan. Replay got a little weird there. Sorry about that, folks. It happens. But I do believe, yeah, that was a wild stick from Steve Cyan that hit where it needed to be. And that brings USA back up by one. We're having a little moment. As Canada sends it forward, USA battling. Oh, gets around the defense. Just rolls off his stick. USA knocks him off the ball. We got a delayed penalty, looks like. That's no longer delayed. That's going to go against Canada. 
for slashing. Or is that going against USA? Let's see. Yep, there it is right there, right in front of the net as he was running by. And it's hard to see, but you can see it. So another power play for Canada. So the penalty is slashing going against Adrian Gajor. So Martel won the draw. Canada has it. Aaron pass goes through everybody. Finds its way all the way back down to Butler. They got all the time and space in the world. Everybody's set up on that blue line. He'll just walk it forward. Poked off his stick. Big poke check from Ruiz. He had two defenders on him. He opted to just dump it down and get a change. Versus running it in. Can't blame him on that. As Canada dumps it in. And that is Trevor Mainman. Comes back Canada with a shot. Blocker to side from Snyder. Oh, and a good look. I do believe that's... Oh, we got another penalty. What do we got going? We got a high sticking. Let's take another look at it, folks. See if we can catch it. Jared Hurst. Yeah, I got chopped with the stick coming down. Oof, that hurts. That's why we wear helmets, folks. That's why you get a penalty if you don't wear a helmet. I'm just going to say. We're going to get confirmation on who's serving the penalty. Four and four for the next few minutes. Is that evened up the penalties? As Canada was on the power play, and that is now negated. Then USA will have a few seconds of power play. Oh, as the ball gets lost in the feet. And Brandon Garneau just couldn't get a good shot off. And a nice back checking, I guess, interrupts the pass. For Team USA. So Brandon Garneau with it now. Decides to dump it in. Get some changes. Canada. Has possession. Got a little time. A little space. Remy Lorenzell has it. Canada drops it back. They're opting to just eat the clock, I guess. And then USA will be on a power play. I'm not sure what they're doing. Just looking to get set up. They dump it in. No icing. As Remy Lorenzell battles for it for Canada. That's taken away by Adrian Gajor for USA. And he gives it to Johnny Ruiz. He takes a slapper. That's blocked over into the corner and then cleared all the way down. As USA is on the power play now. Twenty-four seconds. Slap from the blue line, deflected wide, over into the corner. Canada picks it back up. They lob it down, clear it out. Ten seconds left in the power play. Enough time for maybe one more play as Carter brings it up, and he'll opt to just take a slapper from the neutral zone that goes wide. And another wrister from top of the hash marks, and that'll do it for the power play. As Dennis Hickey looked to try to bury one, did not succeed, but he's got it along the boards now. Just under five and a half minutes left in our third period. USA still down by one. Looking to tie it up. Oh, good. Kind of no look shot there from USA. But a better save by Butler. Who was that for USA? Let's see if he rotates his back just a little bit more. Nope. Maybe 28. Denny Schlegel, I'm thinking. Yep. That's who it was. That's what we like to see. Oh, 
Oh, even strength, five on five. Back to a good old timey hockey. Vinny Tuminello in the face off for USA. It's tied up with Canada. All the sticks get tied up. Canada sends it around. It gets caught up along the boards. And Canada sends it back down low. Again, tied up on the boards. Canada's strategy is probably just going to be to kind of kill the clock. But you know, one more goal, just to get them that much far ahead, wouldn't hurt them. USA keeps it in as Danny Cunningham tries to throw it in the crease. That's kept out. And Steve Gregory wrists it down into the corner. It comes out. He does well to keep it in the blue line right at the hash marks. A good look, I believe, by Danny Cunningham. Could have been Brandon Garneau, though. 88 and 89, respectively. USA sends it back up and out of the zone. Canada with possession, though. The clock just keeps ticking down. Play a little keep away. And they'll dump it. Give chase. Poked up in the air. Glove down. USA, that's 23. That's Steve Gregory. And he gets it to Steve Cyan, who takes a shot. And that's into the glove of Butler. He'll hold it. We'll get a stoppage with three minutes and 59 seconds left in our third period. Still plenty enough time for USA to come back, tie it up, and force either an overtime or a shootout. I'm not entirely sure which one we actually do. As this is game one, folks. Ooh, 11 with a shot on the faceoff. That was blocked. Steve Sion did not find its way through. USA putting on all the pressure. Dennis Hickey wrists one. That's into the glove. Another stoppage. Another faceoff. Three minutes, 45 seconds. Dennis Hickey in the faceoff for USA. Canada wins it back. It was 13 on 13. That's Remy Lawrencell. Canada with possession now. Send it across. Find some space. Bring it in. Dump it in. Dennis Hickey back to get it. Pokes it around. Canada comes up with it. Takes a shot. That went wide. That was from Bill Marshall. And down in the corner, Canada protects. And he'll lob it behind the net. It rolls around. Canada keeps it. Dennis Hickey sends it around for John Dutney. Oh, and he goes down, and Canada goes down with him. We got a whistle? No whistle. They say keep playing. So that was Trevor Mainman and John Dutney. Take a little collision in the boards there. USA stands up. That is Dennis Hickey with it now. Takes a little time, a little patience. Sends it ahead into the neutral zone. That's dumped in. And Matt Curran putting on the Jets. 72, Corey Wilson's got it. Throws it through the crease. No shot. And USA is taking some stabs. Keeps it in. Takes a wrister. That hits Butler. And he'll get the whistle with 2 minutes and 16 seconds left as we got a glove on the rink. That happens, folks. Good look from Matt Caron. And here we go with Corey Wilson. Looks like he tried to throw it. Through the crease. I'm not sure what happened there. Ball took a bounce, went high. So Canada steps in, ties him up, wins the faceoff, brings it back. We almost had a four on one there, folks. Good defensive play at the blue line, though. As Canada chips it ahead, it comes all the way down. He's in all alone. He's got it, sends it around the boards. We're just under two minutes. 
to go in our third period. USA takes back possession. And that is Nick Carter with it, calling some plays. Will USA pull their goalie? We'll find out. Steve Gregory has it now behind the net. Now along the boards, he drops it off. It's sent ahead right to Canada, who slaps it down. And now we got three on two. Comes all the way down. 90 seconds left. Ooh, tried to throw it through the crease. Good looking play. Great stick from Robbie Snyder to keep it from getting over. And USA has pulled their goalie. We do have an empty net. So Louise came out on the rink to take the place. It's six on five for USA. Ball is rolling all around. Butler does well to find it. Slam the glove. He gets a stoppage. As we have some pleasantries being had between the players. They don't get too much time to catch up and talk amongst each other in between whistles, but you know, when they do, how the kids, how's the wife? A timeout call. Team USA calls a timeout. Go over a little game plan here. Shots are 39 to 35 with Canada. So USA is definitely climbing the ladder, the shot ladder, that's for sure. Catching back up. The score is 5 to 6. Just above a minute left, I believe. USA with an empty net, six on five, with a defensive zone playoff or playoff, defensive zone faceoff for Canada. So in this next faceoff, we're definitely stacked in favor from USA. Can they make something happen? We'll find out. Let's see what happens. Dennis Hickey in the faceoff. He wins it back too far back. As it goes through everybody, almost found his own net. <laughs> but they regain possession, drop it off. 50 seconds left in the period. Oh, and we had a little tumble from Hickey on the blue line there. As Canada clears it out, it goes all the way down. That will be an icing. I think they were waiting for the call. <laughs> Versus chasing it. So USA will stay in the offensive zone. Hickey will stay in the faceoff. I'm sure they'll try this play again. Hopefully it doesn't squirt through everybody. It did not. Came back into the neutral zone. And it's sent over for Brendan, I believe. And down below the goal line. Sent back up, and sharp angle shot, blocker to the corner, 20 seconds left in the game, 15 seconds left, and Hickey with a shot, went wide, sharp angle, 10 seconds, all the way down, that is an icing, and something behind the play, no change, they stopped the change, 7 seconds left in the game. Offensive face off for USA. Some would say they have just enough time to tie it up. Others would say they have no chance. But we'll see what happens. You got a timeout, Canada. We'll take another minute here. look of both teams strategizing. So 
just under seven seconds left. 6.8. Shots are 39 to 36. So let's see what USA plans to do. Let's see if Canada can shut them down. We're about to find out. As Canada wins it, comes forward, everybody's falling down. Ball squirts out. That's going to be game. Shot at the buzzer. Went in. Did not go in. I'm not sure what happened there. But Canada won. So that's the end. Your final score, 5-6. to six. So Canada takes the first game. Canada beats USA twice in a row between the women's game and the men's game. We're going to do a uh, little players of the game ceremony. Find out who the top players of each team are. We'll get a little uh, gift bag, goodie bag, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to stick around for that. Hard fought victory for Canada. USA definitely did well putting on the pressure there towards the end. Great defensive plays from both teams. But we're going to be in for a heck of a series between these two later down the road, as this was just game one of the championships. Johnny Ruiz for Team USA is your player of the game for Team USA. Let's find out who our player of the game for Canada is. Feel like we should be playing Jeopardy music. All right, 44, Carl Gillarducci. I hope I'm saying that right. I do apologize if I'm not. He is your player of the game for Team Canada. A little photo op here with a stick in the face. <laughs> Got to move that around. There you go. All right, and that's going to do it, folks. I want to thank you all very much for joining us, and thank you for uh, dealing with the little bit of stumbles that we had and my bad pronunciation of names. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too bad, and I hope uh, we don't offend anybody by that. But, uh, so, yeah, I'd just like to give a shout-out to uh, Joey Delgado and the rest of the team for bringing out the games. Uh, my name's Chris. It was a pleasure being here with you guys. I do apologize for no rink audio and that all you had to listen to was me, but hope I wasn't too bad for you. So make sure you check out the isbhf.com for all your scheduling and live stream and tickets, and stats, and all your needs for the world championships. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and bounce on out, folks. So thank you very much for a wonderful evening. Hope you had a great time. You know I did. And we'll see you sometime down the road. Thank you much, everybody. Take care.